Well, hello folks. What a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. It's like 14 degrees already here in Nova Scotia and it's like 20 after 6 in the morning right now. But yeah, we're going to talk about these tires. So, if you're new, this is a 2024 uh, Tundra, Toyota Tundra SR5 TRD Off-Road. I recently just installed, there's a video on that, the Ready Lift 3 inch kit and I installed these 35 inch tires and these 35 inch tires I told you I would get into them a bit more. So these are the Toro Trailblade XTs. Now a little bit of history on me, I typically buy big brand name tires. I've had cheap tires in the past and they didn't hold up so for the price of the big brand name tires certain ones you get a lot more value actually for that high price tag and i've used them all i've used the uh wild peaks i've used the ko2s i've used the uh toy open country at2s and at3s uh general grabber xt general grabber uh uh x3s General Grabber ATX, sorry. Um, Fire, um, Firestone Destination XT. Oh, there's more, there's more. So my all time favorite tire is the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W. And I really wanted to put the AT4W on this truck, but the price was absolutely insane. I'm talking like 600 bucks a tire. 600 bucks a tire, so for the price of these, I basically got all four tires for the price of two uh, Wild Peaks. So we'll see how they hold up. Uh, looks wise, they look pretty good. The sidewall is quite aggressive. Um, it could be a bit better. But I'm going to go put this thing through the car wash so we can see the tires better. And we can actually read the numbers and all that stuff. Which I determined in my last video that yes, a third gen Tundra, three inch lift on 35s will in fact fit in an automatic car wash. So let's go get this thing washed up. Yes, sir. All right, so here are the tires. So I actually do really like the look of the tread pattern. Got the wide shoulders on the outside for a mud, throwing the mud out. And then on the inside, we got pretty close uh, smaller gaps in the tread blocks and you can see that they all kind of they kind of uh, have a pattern to eject water and all that sort of thing a little bit of siping on them like I said not a ton but there is a bit um, obviously the close blocks here will be better for road noise and then the outside blocks are obviously better for mud I actually haven't looked to see what the what the weight rating is see if we can find a tire that's in the right spot for me to read here uh, da, 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 da. all right so here we go they're load range e they are mud and snow and the max load per tire is 3415 pounds so lots and lots and lots of weight basically two tires gives the whole gvwr of the truck so we've got let's say like close to 14,000 pounds of uh, room to work with here on this truck so yeah no no issues there that's for sure but they're a really nice looking tire to be honest they're made in Thailand so you know we'll see about that but they give the truck a really good look and so far I'm happy with them obviously time will tell like I said time will tell how they hold up and we'll have to go from there so if you've been paying attention to my videos recently since I bought this truck uh, in late December or early January I can't remember exactly when it was I had nothing but problems with those factory Michelin tires uh, this is uh, the SR5 and my wife also has a 2024 limited the so between the two trucks from just traveling back this road my cottage road which is still in the middle of the road itself is not really in construction but everything back here is 
this road will be getting a whole new coat of gravel on it when it's all said and done but for now it is what it is until i'm done hauling dump trucks and stuff in and out of here but i had on this truck i had two tires go completely flat and then i had two other tires that were leaking air and my wife's truck had a tire that went completely flat and we've owned this property now for like three years or so i believe and those are the only flat tires that we've ever had from this road so obviously i'm certainly hoping that with these new tires i don't need to worry about that anymore also i uh i do quite a bit of mulching and we go into some pretty pretty crappy roads sometimes to look at mulching jobs um you know we do some some work in the woods so i need a decent set of tires to get into some of these places and uh, hopefully these are going to be it but also i don't want to compromise the on-road ride quality too too bad because uh you know i've got a young fella and a lot of times this is the this is the family truck i don't want uh, an on road experience to be loud and and the truck all over the road because of big humongous knobby tires and things like that so um i went with these i went with these i did my own youtube reviews or uh, like research and from what i see most people say they're a pretty good tire all right so we're now cruising and you know it drives really identical to what it drove before wow people are really slowing down uh it basically drives the way it did before uh, as far as handling goes might be a little bit more play i guess to it maybe i don't know what the word is you get a lot more tread depth so uh, you're gonna feel that a little bit i suppose but um, handling it handles really good uh, handles the bumps really good it still has all the factory shock components and all that stuff on it um, and it's not that loud you can hear a slight hum uh, it's definitely louder than like the wild peaks and the firestone destinations and the at2s at3s and all that sort of stuff it, it definitely has a little bit more of a hum than what those ones did but it's not bad at all it's definitely it's definitely livable that's for sure now we'll see we'll see how it wears if it wears on even if the shoulders wear on even and start to get scalloped or something then obviously it will get louder they are balanced the alignment is good the truck drives completely straight so um you know over time it's 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 a matter of time now it's 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 to see if for half the price basically if you get half the wear because in that case then you might as well get the more expensive tires if you can afford them at the time because you're going to end up paying that much anyway um and i don't know what they're like in snow obviously because we're in june Hopefully we don't see any snow anytime soon. Uh, but it they look like they should be pretty good in the snow with the uh, sort of tread blocks being fairly tight on the inside. Um, but there's not a lot of siping. So it's, uh, we'll have to see about that if there's still good tread left on these tires when it comes time in the winter. If these are still good enough to keep on or if I need to get a new set of these or 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 something else i put a lot of i put a lot of miles on especially this time of year is our busy 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 season so right now the truck's got twenty three thousand kilometers on it since end of december first of january and that's not even really the busy time for me so uh it, the busy time is right now for the next five six months one thing that i find about these tires that is actually a pretty pleasant surprise is that they don't seem to pick up a ton of rocks so here i am on this gravel road right now and you can hear the odd you know rock ping but not a ton you know so that's good i was not really 
really expecting that. I was expecting these things to throw rocks like crazy. Well, all right, folks, we're gonna finish this one off here. Um, so yeah, so so far, I'm really liking the tires, but you know, we're uh, 1500 to 2000 kilometers into the ownership experience of these things so far. So uh, we got a long ways to go before I can give an actual good review on these things, that's for sure. But for the price of them, I mean, geez, you can't go wrong to at least try them. I do still have plans to get some new wheels for this thing, but for now, the factory wheels are looking pretty good. This truck just completely changed its looks, its presence, everything about it. Even sitting in the truck, it feels like a truck now. But everything changed when I got that three inch lift and these 35s put on this truck. Obviously, like I said, we still have lots more to do to this thing. All this chrome has to disappear. I am probably gonna end up doing the Heritage Grill. Not because I'm trying to pretend this thing is a pro, because I'm not. Just because I like the way it looks. Um, obviously, the uh, fact that there's no recovery points on these trucks is just ridiculous. So I'm either gonna do an aftermarket bumper in the front or I'm going to get the tow hooks. I forget the company I was watching the video last night. The tow hooks where you can actually kind of just neatly cut out the front and put the tow hooks in or recovery points. Uh, what else we got? We have a tuner for this thing. I know I mentioned that earlier. I did just swap out these running boards. I might make a separate video on those. These definitely fit the truck way better. The TRD like textured running boards. Um, we're gonna have an exhaust put on for this thing. Uh, what else? Jeez, I don't know. Um, like I said, the chrome is gonna be gone. Uh, bed mat. Bed mat's going in here whenever they actually get back in stock. It's crazy that they still don't have any bed mats. Um, my fuel cell is gonna be going on here, so then it's definitely gonna be looking like a work truck. I don't know what else. Some seat covers probably or leather seats. Definitely seat covers, but possibly leather seats. Uh, tint the front two windows a bit. We got lots to do, if, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, stay tuned, stay tuned. Um, some, companies are, some, some companies are getting a hold of me to ask if, they're, if I'm interested in Acquiring a few things to try out. So obviously if I try them I'll let you guys know all about it and then you can decide if it's something that you want to do But I know that I can't End a video off Unless I allow my young fella To say goodbye Just move the lawn. He was down here playing in the water a minute ago Yeah Yeah, the waves. I, I know hey, can you come over here? You better grab a hold of that floaty before it takes off. Bring it up on the sand. So come on over. Come over here. <laughs> hey, you gonna say goodbye to everybody? You gotta look at the camera. Bye everybody. Say have a good day. Have a good day. Take, care. Take care. Stay safe. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>